I'm making my menu plan for this next week and my goal is to make some delicious meals that my family are going to love and that are Weight Watcher friendly. Monday I'm going to make salmon, couscous, and a salad and I did a little cook with me clip for you guys and I'll also include the recipe in the description box. The whole entire meal is seven smart points. We're gonna have a blood orange spinach salad. It has blueberries, blackberries, celery. I'm making a lemon honey shallot vinaigrette, serving it with couscous and pan seared salmon. To make six salads, I have divided 11 ounces of baby spinach into six containers. In addition to the baby spinach, you will need three blood oranges, two shallots, a couple of cucumbers, and sometimes I put pomegranate aerials in it, but today I'm going to put some blackberries and blueberries. I'm also going to save the zest from the orange uh, for the dressing. I'm going to reserve this orange zest for the dressing and get these oranges peeled. I have my first orange peeled and I cut off the ends and I'm just going to squeeze any juice into the dressing bowl. Now we want to cut these really thin like little rounds. I'm using a serrated knife, makes it easier. And if there's any seeds, go ahead and pop them out. You should be able to slice each orange into 10 thin slices. Place five of the orange slices onto each of the salads. Then just sprinkle on some blackberries. Now add some blueberries, a little handful. Peel the two cucumbers. I want to take the seeds out too, so I'm going to cut this in half. Using a spoon you can just take out the cucumber seeds. Go ahead and slice the cucumbers into little half rounds. Add your cucumber slices to your salads and get the tops on them. To the orange zest and that little bit of juice that I got off the oranges, I'm going to add two minced shallots. I'm going to go ahead and zest these lemons. I have three lemons. I added the zest of the lemons. Now we're going to get them juiced. Now just add the lemon juice to the dressing. Now add three tablespoons of olive oil. And three tablespoons of And then finally add salt and pepper to taste. I'm going to get the top on this and give it a good shake and then my dressing will be all ready to go. To make the couscous, it's so simple. I just boiled three cups of chicken stock, added one and a half cups of couscous, and then uh, covered the uh, pan and then turned off the heat. Let it sit for five minutes. Now I'm just going to use a fork and kind of fluff it. So simple. This is so great on a weeknight because it's so quick. I'm going to get this into my meal prep containers. I used my one cup scoop to measure it out and it's perfect for six servings. Comes out perfect every time. I have a frying pan heating up on the stove 
Now I'm going to spray it with some olive oil spray pretty liberally and start getting my salmon fillets into the pan. I don't want to crowd them too much. Just have them seasoned with salt and pepper. I cook it skin side down for five minutes, turn it over and cook it for another two, two and a half minutes. So I went ahead and I put the couscous in a meal prep container along with a piece of salmon. I had a little bit of dill from my uh, kitchen herb garden. We'll get these uh, covered and in the fridge. Tuesday I'm going to make Big Mac Attack and if you're hankering for a fast food McDonald's burger this one will do the trick. All of the flavor profiles from the Big Mac are incorporated into this recipe and the good news is it's only seven smart points. For dinner tonight we're having Big Mac Attack. This is Weight Watcher friendly. I've made this on my channel before but I have since then tweaked the recipe and um, I've used twice as much meat and only one package of the crescent rolls. I have a pan heating up over medium heat. I'm going to spray it with some olive oil spray. Add one large onion minced, a little salt, a little pepper. We'll start cooking these onions. Add the ground beef and season with some garlic powder and cook it till the ground beef is browned. Go ahead and place the ground beef in a 13 by 9 pan. Next put a layer of dill pickle slices. Then layer on 12 slices of American fat free cheese. Next top it with a reduced fat crescent roll. I'm just using a no name store brand and I just kind of stretch it to uh, cover the top. Now I'm going to spray it with some olive oil spray pretty liberally on the top. And sprinkle on some sesame seeds. We're going to get this into a 350 degree oven until the crescent rolls are brown and cooked through. This is what the Big Mac attack looks like. Um, I serve it with romaine lettuce and some of the light Thousand Island dressing, a couple tablespoons. And this whole dinner is seven smart points. On Wednesday, I'm tweaking a HelloFresh recipe. And this is for a pork and apple meatloaf. For dinner, I'm gonna make a turkey and pork meatloaf and season it with garlic, shallots, and a Granny Smith apple, salt and pepper. I'm gonna serve it with some roasted corn. You could serve it with corn on the cob and this beautiful salad. It's a spring mix. It has sliced Granny Smith apples, sliced celery, and an apple cider vinaigrette. And it's topped with a little bit of crumbled bacon and chopped pecans. The entire dinner is seven smart points on Weight Watcher Freestyle. For the pork apple meatloaf, you'll need a pound of extra lean ground turkey, a pound of extra lean ground pork, one Granny Smith apple, I'm going to core it and shred it, a teaspoon of thyme leaves, three-fourths cup pinko breadcrumbs, two teaspoons of salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, two shallots finely minced, and two cloves of garlic minced. We have everything in the bowl and now we're just going to go ahead and get it mixed up. I use a big fork. You don't want to pack it down, you just want to get it all mixed together. After it's all mixed up, I use a scoop to measure out six portions, and I'm gonna get it on a sheet tray. So just shape them um, evenly into like little oval patties, and we'll get those into a 350 degree oven. To make the salad, you're gonna need 11 ounces of spring mix, two Granny Smith apples, I'm gonna thinly slice them, Three stalks of celery. I'm also going to thinly slice them on a diagonal. I cooked two pieces of bacon and I crumbled it up. I have 10 pecan halves that I uh, ran my knife through and diced them up. 
So I'm going to get six meal prep containers going here and get the lettuce equally dispersed. I went ahead and I divided the celery, apple slices, bacon bits, and chopped pecans evenly over the six salads. To make the dressing, I start with two tablespoons of olive oil and two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. I'm going to add one tablespoon of honey, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, three tablespoons of vinegar. I love Trader Joe's. I love this vinegar, but you can use whatever vinegar you have on hand. A fourth a cup of apple cider, or if you don't have a uh, fresh apple cider, you could use apple juice. We happen to have a cider mill not too far from us. And then finally, just one shallot minced and <clears throat> put the top on it, and give it a good shake. So I'm gonna go ahead and dress the salad here with some of that apple cider shallot dressing. Looks delicious. Thursday we're going to grill some Trader Joe's carne asada and I'm going to serve it with some of the Mission Extra Thin Corn Tortillas. Those are three corn tortillas for four smart points. That's a great deal. I'm going to serve it with some onions, cilantro, and limes, hot sauce, and I'm going to make a big batch of pinto beans in the crock pot. And I know several have asked for this recipe, so I'm actually going to do a recipe share on Wednesday. I haven't done a Whip It Up Wednesday in a while, so I'm going to do that on Wednesday for you guys for the pinto beans. And then I'm also going to make a jicama grapefruit and spinach salad with a grapefruit vinaigrette. And the entire dinner is seven smart points. It's a real bargain. For dinner tonight, we're having carne asada tacos on the Mission Extra Thin Tortillas and some refried beans with some pico de gallo. For six salads, you'll need 12 ounces of baby spinach, two ruby red grapefruits. Um, I picked up this jicama at Trader Joe's. I'm going to julienne it. A half of a jalapeno, a shallot, a tablespoon of brown sugar, about a teaspoon of kosher salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, a tablespoon of honey, a tablespoon of olive oil, and I'm going to go ahead and um, supreme the grapefruits, reserving any um, juice that comes off, because I need about a half a cup to make the dressing. To supreme the grapefruit, I have went ahead and taken all of the peel and pith off. Now I'm cutting the segments between the membranes. So I'll cut along here and then here. I have the shallot and the minced half of a jalapeno in my bowl. I'm going to add the tablespoon of brown sugar, the salt and pepper, the half cup of the reserved grapefruit juice, and two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. A tablespoon of honey. I'm gonna eyeball it. And one tablespoon of olive oil. I'm gonna put a top on this and get it mixed up. So here's how the salad comes together. We have the baby spinach, the supremed grapefruit, jicama, 
and a sixth of the salad dressing per serving. Serving this with the two carne asada tacos and the beans, the entire dinner is seven smart points. That's a bargain. I just wanted to say if you couldn't find jicama in your grocery store, maybe use a gala apple or honey crisp apple, something like that. Friday, I'm going to make crab louis salad with shrimp added to it to kind of bulk it up. I have some shrimp in the freezer that I need to use up, and there are zero smart points, so it's just going to add more protein to the salad, and I could serve it as a main entree. I'm going to make the traditional dressing, serve it with a lemon wedge, and I'll do a little cook with me clip to show you how to make it. The entire salad with the dressing is seven smart points. Tonight for dinner, we're going to have this crab louis salad. I have a pound of asparagus that I blanched and put in an ice water bath, six hard boiled eggs, a pint of cherry tomatoes that I halved, a pound of crab meat, I got this at Trader Joe's, and then I have a pound of cooked shrimp, I have it on ice while I'm working with it. I also have three heads of romaine lettuce, they're kind of small, I'm going to get them chopped up and put in a meal prep containers, I'm going to make six salads. I'm just going to start assembling the salads, start with my cherry tomatoes. I'm going to add the asparagus. It's about five spears per salad. I'm going to half the eggs and add those. Next, I'm just going to start adding some of the shrimp, like a little bit of shrimp. And then finally, I'm going to place a sixth of the crab, kind of right on top. going to get the tops on these and get them in the refrigerator and I'll make the dressing. To make the dressing, you might be surprised, but I have three-fourths cup of regular mayonnaise, Best Foods mayonnaise, and Ken's going to squeeze a lemon in there for me. I'm adding a tablespoon of grated onion and about a tablespoon about a tablespoon of minced parsley. I'm also going to add three tablespoons of chili sauce. Go ahead. There's one. Two, three. We'll go ahead and give this a big mix. And the salads plus the dressing is going to be seven smart points. I was kind of shocked when I put this recipe through the recipe builder. And you can see these two ounce um, containers are full, so you get a lot of dressing. All right, so that's, I guess, crab louis with shrimp with the dressing, seven smart points. One of the challenges of eating healthier and trying to lose a little bit of weight is eating out in a restaurant. Saturday, Ken and I are going to Albany. We're going to go grocery shopping at Trader Joe's, and we thought we might uh, go to dinner and kind of incorporate a little bit of a date night um, with this chore. So he asked where I wanted to go eat and I picked Chipotle and my plan is I looked at the menu ahead of time and decided I was going to have a steak bowl. The brown rice is six points, pinto beans zero, steak three points, the salsa, pico de gallo, the corn salsa, and lettuce is zero smart points. 
So for a total of nine smart points, I can enjoy going out to dinner and still staying on plan. Ken can have whatever he wants to eat. It's not going to affect me in any way. So that's my plan for Saturday <laughs> and eating out <laughs> and staying on plan. For dinner tonight, we're going to have Chipotle. I'm having a steak bowl and this is nine Weight Watcher points. I got the brown rice, pinto beans, the steak, all of the salsas and a little bit of lettuce. Not bad for nine smart points. Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday and that means snack stadium in our house. I don't even know who's playing the game but I came up with a menu that I think is going to work. I'm going to make ham and cheese sliders, those Hawaiian roll sliders. I've made a video on my channel before. I'll put that link in the description box if you're interested in making them. They're delicious, they're easy, they're always a hit. Each slider is nine smart points. I'm also gonna serve a variety of fresh fruit cut up. And a couple weeks ago, I did a bunch of different chicken freezer marinades. I have some teriyaki chicken marinating in the freezer. I'm going to take that out, cut it into strips, put it on skewers, and grill it. Zero smart points. I'm also going to get salmon, cut it in strips, put it on skewers, grill that. I might need to spray it a little bit with um, some olive oil spray just to keep it from sticking on the grill. And then I thought a mango salsa would be really nice to serve with the teriyaki chicken and the salmon and as long as I just stick with you know one slider I'm good I can snack on the fruit and the chicken and the salmon and the salsa and still stay on plan and I think the menu would be one that the guys aren't even gonna know <laughs> you know what I mean they might say where's the guacamole but I'll be like oh I made something different this time you know I wanted to try something different so that's my plan for Sunday here is the snack stadium. I purchased the container last year for like nine bucks from Party City. I think it's so cute. And let's see, we have fresh fruit, teriyaki chicken with a dipping sauce, salmon skewers, and some mango salsa. Looks so delicious. And then these are those little Hawaiian ham and cheese sliders. Everybody loves those. So I think the boys are going to love this. I can stay on plan. It's a win-win for everyone. To make the mango salsa, you need two or three mangoes. I got these sliced mangoes, two 12-ounce containers from Trader Joe's, um, a red onion, two red bell peppers, half a bunch of cilantro, two limes, and a half of a jalapeno, salt and pepper to taste. I'm going to get all of this stuff chopped up and into a bowl. Look at all the colors. It looks so beautiful. I just want to dig in. I'm also going to use this Trader Joe's dipping sauce. Two tablespoons is one smart point. Here's my big old plate. I got the slider, the chicken, and salmon, and a bunch of fruit, and the salsa. Nine smart points. Well, that's our meal plan for the week. And I'll put a link in the description box for our Trader Joe's haul. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.